Hey guys, I'm Soshi. Today, I'm going to show you how to use the FRP client add-on of the Home Assistant OS. You can leverage the add-on to achieve remote access to the local Home Assistant OS by port forwarding. So before starting the add-on, uh, I'm going to share the overall architecture of the add-on. You can see in the picture, we have to install two things. One is FRP server, another one is FRP client. Um, so firstly, let me focus on the right side. The FRP client will be installed in the home assistant OS uh, within the internet internal network. And you can only access to the home assistant OS within the internal network, uh, such as connecting to your home Wi-Fi. If in the public network, you cannot connect to the FRP client or the home assistant OS anymore. So that's why we need to um, use the FRP to achieve the remote access. Now, uh, let's focus on the left side. The FRP server will be installed in the online server within the public network. The online server is something like uh, AWS EC2. It has a public IP. You can connect to the server with the public IP. So that important is the red line. Um, that means the user browser send a request to the online server. And the IPv server receives the request, then forwarding to the, tra the traffic to the IPv client. And, uh, African will forward traffic to the local home system web server so that you can assess the local home system web server in the public network. Let's come back to the add-on page. Before starting it, we also have to do some configuration. The first one is the server address. This is the IP or domain of your web online server. The server port 7000 um, is, is what FRP server listening on, and uh, FRP client know which port it can specify to connect to the FRP server. The next one is the auth token. One FRP client connecting to the FRP server it will use the auth to do some authentication. The web server port and the username password, FRP client will provide one dashboard. Uh, the port is the dashboard port, and uh, you can you have to specify the username and the password. The last one is the custom domain. It is the same with the address, server address. Um, before we start the client, we need to start the FRP server. I'm already in the FRP, FRP server. Let's have a quick look at the FRP server configuration. Um, it's kind of straightforward and uh, relate, uh, similar to the one of the FRP client. Now I'm going to start the FRP server. Check the logs. It's good. The server has started and the listening on the SDP port 8123. And the dashboard has listening on the 7500 port. Then the last thing is to start the FRP client. Check the log. Refresh. Everything is good. The client has started and connected to the server. Uh, we can have a try in the client dashboard and the server dashboard. And uh, the most important thing is to access to the web server uh, in the public network. So let me tr let me have a try. My good, I'm, I have opened the website in the public network. So that's all for this tutorial. Thanks for your watching. If you have any question, you can open the issue in the GitHub.
or comments below the video.